I'm here today to see Howard uh, to talk about uh, my book, which is called The Coming of Tan. Order the book, thecomingoftan.com, through your internet. Uh, so, very shortly, I shall have the pleasure once again of visiting with my dear friend Howard. And I'm uh, humbly hoping that Robin does not start up on me today. <laughs> oh, yeah, you prepared to fight back? Uh, well, no, I'm a humble, self-effacing uh, type guy who uh, would not uh, defend himself against the flea. Nonetheless, uh, it probably wouldn't do to uh, start up on me today. Boy, you in a good mood? No, I'm always in a good mood. Just don't start up on me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll pass that information along. <laughs> now, um, so you're here to talk about the uh, your trip to Saturn and about your friends, the Biavians. Tell me about that. I'm here to talk about the book, The Coming of Ten, and uh, its contents, which of course encompasses uh, the aliens, who they are, where they're from, why they're here. Uh, we may even discuss their propulsion systems, their sociological systems, their sense of uh, uh, etheric value or spiritual value and things of this nature, because I do know these particular extraterrestrials quite intimately, having spent uh, a number of days with them on a number of occasions up through my life. You know who came all the way down from Philly was Riley, the guy who has met space aliens. Oh. Uh, I don't really have a lot of time to talk to him because he was an hour late. There was some kind of mix-up there. I saw people coming in. I said to myself, I thought the show was over. Yeah, the show is kind of over, but I, you know, the guy drove all the way down from Philly. I want to give him a quick plug or whatever the hell he's doing. Well, and certainly, otherwise, he'll hate us. Yeah, and I don't need that. He came by way of Jupiter, so you can understand why he's an hour it's late. It's a little bit far that mm -hmm. you know, he's traveling. So. Riley, uh, we met him a couple of uh, months ago, or was it? and he's got some kind of new traveling partner with him. Riley and a well, new... Well, there was a bunch of people. Here he Hi. comes. Riley, as you know has uh, been visited by aliens, and he's always telling us about has, it. Uh, don't <laughs> <laughs> Riley, who is your new partner with you, if I may ask? Uh, this young man is uh, Slevin. 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 Out of Dallas. Out of Dallas. Slevin, you are out of Dallas? Yes. Yes. And uh, what, uh, have you been captured by aliens as well? I have, at this point, not have any abductions. Or uh, experiences with the aliens. But you're looking but forward do, to them? I noticed something. You're trying to talk like Riley a little bit? Because Riley has a very unusual way of speaking. He's a master linguist. You you almost sound like you're trying to imitate him. Is that the case? There may be some influence there. Right. Um, I, uh, there's, some people may say coincidences that have led us... Uh, uh, to this path where we've met, but uh, Riley, are you grooming this gentleman to be your successor? Should you go off with the Bethusians, as you call them? The Biavians. Biavians. Yeah. <laughs> Seven is a uh, a he and uh, Oli, the other young man with him. Oli. Uh, yeah. Did Oli. you name these guys Oli and Slevin? No, they named themselves. Really? Yeah. Fascinating. Uh, yes. I was going to say, these, no these parents guys. named them. Right. <laughs> yeah. These guys are uh, musical geniuses, and uh, hopefully they'll work with me. I see. You talk uh, slow. You obviously drive slow. We know that. But uh, <laughs> No, yeah. no uh, Riley does not drive slow. He does not. No. no. We, uh, in the RV trip up here, uh, we let him uh, drive about 5,000 miles, and it was a hell of an experience. You guys would be called New Age because you have been visited by aliens and uh, have the alien have you been visited since your last time you were with us uh, Riley I talked to the uh, alien tan tan yes um, anything new going on weekly and what have you yes well a number of things uh, for instance uh, give us some predictions well the book uh, told about the coming of the hill Bob the comet you seven, had mentioned that uh, yeah, a seven while years, yeah, yes. seven years before it happened Riley was aware of the uh, hail Bob did you know they would cut their testicles off did you know uh, uh, I knew that they would be aberrant behavior as you did. deals with uh, uh, you know the coming of any great comet and thing of this nature Did these aliens ever mention who killed John Benet Ramsey <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> we could get into things like that. You now, could. Would I you ask so. them so that the next yeah. time How we can? How come they know so much? Uh, well, because um, because they're aliens. <laughs> they're very. They're, they're brighter than we are. Are they not? Right. Right, and they also observe from high above. They have a, a different level of consciousness, I imagine. Let me ask you a question about Tan, the alien called Tan. Is Tan Tan? In fact, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he is. Guy, yeah, yeah, he's actually Tan. He is. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's <laughs> That's you know, you know yeah. Riley's in a pretty good mood today. Yes, you are, Riley. Uh, where, where are you, Robin? I, I don't like Robin. to point myself out to you because uh, you always get angry with me. He can Robin. find the aliens, but he can't Robin. find you. Robin. Now, right. you know, now, Robin, you know yes. uh, that I dearly love you. Oh, yes, but so, you always yeah, get want upset to, with me. No, no, I want to humbly implore Implore you to uh, don't start up on me today, Robert. <laughs> you know what I mean. By the way, my my man Riley, of course, uh, not only has been visited by aliens, but for those of you who have never heard Riley before, he has made love to That's aliens. Right. When I say aliens, I don't mean he some might Mexican have alien children. That's right. I don't mean some Mexican sneaking over the border. I'm talking about people from other planets, oh, and he might nice. even have children. Could with be. these aliens. Isn't that true? That is correct. That's right. Uh, back in 1964, yeah, I had a liaison with a number of the hybrid right. alien women, the um, mixed human alien women. Not unlike Bill Cosby, who just found out he might have a daughter. Uh, yeah. you, could, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> you might be in custody. Right, right. That's right, right. right. <laughs> when we, yeah, when we do the movie, then they're going to show up with oh, the big yeah. heads. As soon as you make yeah, some right. real money, right. I'm telling you, they're right. all going to show up with those goddamn work. giant heads of theirs yeah, and those slits for eyes, and they're going to go, where is the money, baby? I'm wanting it. With some sagging pants talking about that my daddy. <laughs> yeah, right. Like that. yeah, right. Now, Slevin Howard, is uh, you one of you. Like you're 19 years old. I do, don't I? Yes. Yes, thank you. You want a date or what? No. 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 What is going on between the two? I don't know. Why not? Let's see what happens. You, you look like people I see in the clubs all the time. Uh, Slevin, let me ask you this. Uh, you are lucky enough to be in the presence of Riley, who has been with aliens. Is is he teaching you things? Are you one? Of, is he your mentor? He is. Uh, no, he's not a mentor. I am an individual myself. I yes. have my own goals and aspirations. You're not in a cult of any kind have, with I Riley? I participate in no religions, no cults. Uh, right. I'm an individual spirit. You're just trying to learn from Riley. Uh, what he, it, it turns out that the last year that I've been writing the soundtrack to the movie of The Coming of Tan, oh. you know, which has led me to... Uh, you to guys Riley. are working on a treatment, a movie about uh, Tan, the alien that visits Riley? Yeah, that's And correct. you will write the music? Yeah, I've uh, actually sent, there's a, a sample of the soundtrack uh, in possession of, I guess Gary has the, uh, the copy of the CD. He does have it. it is a but we're going to listen to that in a second. Gary, right. get me that. Uh, have you ever seen Riley nude? I have not seen Riley nude. No, I okay. haven't. Well, that's a strange question. Why? What's so strange about it? Do you think it's strange <laughs> to talk about aliens and a, an alien named Tan who's yeah. Tan? I mean, all of it's strange. Yeah, right. I mean, why is one yeah, thing yeah, more right. strange than others? That's all. I just, I, I fit. This is like fishing. You put questions oh, yeah. out there, you see what you hit. Oh, incidentally, uh, thank Howard, you. Uh, Slevin yes. has, uh, my good uh, brother Slevin, he has your fourth symbol, and uh, Oli has Robin's uh, second symbol. Uh, 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 did you just get one, Robin? Someone tells me I better throw both of them right out of here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I just got one. You just got one. Uh, yes. We have Howard's... Um, Riley, tell us what the aliens four. say. That's what everybody yearns to hear. Do they give us any guidance for the next couple of months or years? What I'm are they saying? To, I'm going to have to talk to them after 5th of May, the 5th of May in the year 2000, yes. by which time I hope that we would have started uh, to acquaint these people to the fact that the planet is dying. We are fouling the planet. Hey, man. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's coming swiftly to a head. Right. When you take all things into consideration, you know, the acid rains, the depletion of the ozone, overpopulation. The aliens diseases, are upset about this? Rainforest. Why do they care what happens to our planet? Well, uh, just we like... We might move yeah, in with them. Just right. like any other <laughs> beautiful species, we would, uh, they would not like to uh, see this species uh, obliterated. suffer, obliterated. Uh, suffer are, you encouraged? are you encouraged by our trip to Mars? Uh, yes, we uh, had we done utilized uh, our true potential, we would have been far beyond Mars by now. Hmm. It's inevitable that you will ultimately want to leave uh, the planet of your origins, if only to explore. I understand. Up there. I see. Let me ask something because there was just that big. Um, you want to know if Slevin seen uh, Riley nude? No. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> the big anniversary of that place out <laughs> where they said Roswell. Yes, where they said aliens landed. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> the aliens fail. Let's all do uh, acid. The aliens travel. <laughs> yeah, the aliens travel back and forth through time and space uh -huh. right. uh, by utilizing what we call um, hyperspace windows, stargates, and things of this nature. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. At the very moment of the exit from one of the quantum windows, there is a uh, 
the quantum the, window. Yeah, there the neurotronic computers are offline for uh-huh. a split second, and it's at this time when it is vulnerable. Wow! Apparently, it was struck by a lightning bolt uh-huh. at that moment, uh-huh. and uh, this brought them down. Man, two of them lived. Two of the bodies were black. You didn't know that, did no, you? No, I didn't. No, I had right. no idea. Figures. Oh. <laughs> one See, of, right one, away. <laughs> one of the. One of the. How do uh, aliens make duty, uh, Riley? Uh, uh, one of them. Uh, Seriously, uh, do they move their bowels the way we do? Uh, uh, well, well, please, they, Robin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they've got these little super commodes, but yeah. those ass wipers are hell. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, you're in a good mood today. Usually yeah, you're all angry. What, what, what happened to you? Did you uh, take some mood elevating drug no, or something? Like a, no, I, I psyched myself up because I knew that once again I right. would uh, have the pleasure of, uh, of laying uh, eyes upon the uh, rare and lovely countenance of Robin. I yeah. only wish that you had been here earlier. I, I had prayed yeah. for that, but obviously uh, there was thought, a uh, scheduling difference. Well, uh, yes. 30 man. Understood. I mean, you know, right. I'm supposed to be late for Howard Stern. Look here. If, if the uh, What is this? The I'm listener in the... Uh, this is the uh, CD that you yeah. guys are working yeah. on? Riley, did you have input on this? Um, he uh, incorporated my voice he from did. one of the broadcasts uh, into the tape, and I think it's marvelous. All right, all right let, me, let me hear this. It's yeah. the second track on there. Second Howard. track. Okay, let me see. All right, this is a, a CD. This is for the movie that Riley's putting this together about soundtrack. 10, The Alien. Wait a, a minute, I have another question. Wait, you've got to hear the music okay. first. Okay. Okay. Hold on to that question. <laughs> We're going to hear some music. This is the soundtrack to a non-existent movie. Yes. All right. There's the spaceship. The aliens are taking off. Wow. We have I assume. Screenwriters and uh, lawyers working on it right now. No, no better uh, people to work on a screenplay than lawyers. I know. <laughs> right. Right. You know how creative they are. Okay. They're Every right lawyer wants to be a screenwriter. Pros. Yeah. Shh. Here we go. This is the abduction. This is the abduction. Yes. Interesting. The sound effects. You're way too happy. <laughs> Riley has always hooked himself up with the best artists. Riley, I feel like it's all finally if coming together for you. you alone oh, in this there universe, you are. Are the guardians of this universe. You don't you have a lot of mistake. Look at this. See? It's a rap kind of thing. Nice beat. Nice beat. Here comes Riley. But I ask that you look into your own heart. Human beings want to hear the truth. So this is the way Riley will get his message out to young people. This is a way of sort of hypnotizing them. Once the young people start listening to this, they will know of the aliens. Robin, would you like to dance? <laughs> she just wants to screw. She wants to skip the dancing. <laughs> Let's get right down. Why not? <laughs> Riley digging it. Oh, I think Riley's gonna dance. <laughs> Riley's, a, Riley's got the look of love on there. <laughs> Riley like the Jor-El of Earth. What was that? I'm in such a good mood today, I could just puke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. This is very rare. After last night, there's no surprise. Really? What did you guys do last night? Uh, we uh, stayed up late and, uh, and drank, and uh, we shared information, and uh, just uh, yeah, we had a good time. It's been a party ever since Dallas. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I left Dallas in the RV, picked him up uh, somewhere in the Badlands of Oklahoma, and right. it's, been a, it's been a joy. Well, know? Riley, I wish you luck with this movie treatment. Right, uh, Howard, please advertise the book. Okay, uh, let me. Okay, so Riley, up, yeah, if you want to get the book, it's uh, on your internet. It's thecomingoften.com. Right, thecomingoften.com. Dot com. Yeah, small letters. You mean no you spaces. gotta. Type out the coming of tan. Well, how hard can that be? T H E C O M I N G. The book. They want to get the book. They also want to get the circular, symbolic, the symbol configurations. Well, that's the key, uh, right? These, yeah. uh, if they and get the, the book, music. they'll get the configurations yeah, right. that will put them in touch with aliens. Punch it up, and you'll get all the information, and, uh, and and give us a call right away. We've got operators on duty. You need to get this book, the first edition. We're about to run out of these, so you better get them. All right, and if I get the symbol, if I get the symbol, you I have can. Your Symbol. I know I have mine. If you get the symbol, that means you can contact the aliens. If you get the symbol, that means that you are a potential wayfarer. You can use that symbol ultimately uh, to get out of here if it's necessary around the year 2011. Hmm. Nonetheless, now, if you sell the symbol, I cannot give you another ticket. Understood. Only another symbol. <laughs> any Rosie, yeah. only any uh, Rosie Perez gossip on that side? No. Uh, no. No. Okay. All right. No, no. We, well, we will consider her. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. You like that? Uh, yeah, I saw her in the hall. Right. right. Yeah. Riley and Slevin <laughs> were. 
we're here. You can have mine somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for a guy who's so uh, uh, extraterrestrial, man, you got a lot of uh, women on your mind. I know. Yeah, yeah, right. What's a planet without women? Yeah, that's exactly it. No matter how many women you meet, whether they be alien or from this planet, it's worth trying to get in their pants, is what <laughs> <laughs> Riley's message yeah, is. If I may, let me uh, give the phone number also. Please go ahead. Yeah, yes, yeah, you've, you've traveled very far. You're, yeah, you've maybe, traveled yeah, to other planets, sure. and uh, certainly it's important. <laughs> right. Go ahead. If you don't have, uh, you know, like the net, like um, <laughs> the coming of ten dot com, dial six zero nine. We'll be there to await your call. And if you call within the next couple of days, you may have the misfortune of having to speak with me personally. <laughs> wow. Might even get to speak to Riley, yeah. the extraterrestrial. Huh. Well, he's not an extraterrestrial. He's Trust me, he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> that headband around his head? That's hiding the antenna. I'm telling you. So there it is. Riley, the extraterrestrial. And he has slept with other species. People from other species. That's right. And Slevin, I still haven't figured out your angle. It appears to me you are uh, just uh, another uh, musician trying uh, yeah, to hook up with genius. an angle. He's yeah, a he's genius a, musician. Well, uh, good luck with you guys, all right? Man, beautiful man. spirit, man. A beautiful spirit. Thank he you. and uh, Oma, Olai. Olai. Mm-hmm. May I say one last thing? Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. You guys Go have been ahead. saying one last thing for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll never get out of here. We're going to be using production uh, uh, elements in the music that have never been done before using certain frequencies and sound waves. Yes. And I'm working with a uh, company uh, in Dallas called Underground Entertainment. May I give that number out? <laughs> what are you insane? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Give the number out. Why would I call? All right, whatever. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Howard. All right. <laughs> Thank you, hey, great. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Hey, man. Yeah. The great Riley. Riley, everyone. it's always good to see you. We always it's love always Riley. Good to see you, my darling. Come see us again, but come on time so we can get to some phone yeah, calls. Yeah, right, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's get this. Uh, let's don't get cross wires, man. Yeah, you know? yeah. Were there cross okay, wires? <laughs> Look here. Yeah. How come if he you always were, makes it on yeah. those spaceships? Uh, Robert. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> He's never late for that. <laughs> if you if you came out of a Stargate with a one nanosecond dispersal, it'll put you three days beyond where you're going. Uh-huh. So therefore, let's get it right next time, Robin. All right. I gotta see you some more. Okay. Mm-hmm. You really do. You are. Attracted to Robin very yeah, much I mean, so. You know, it's, yeah, it's nice. Of course not to. All right. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, well, I'll tell you, there's a lot of times Robin gets hit on by um, uh, parking lot attendants <laughs> and uh, various uh, guys, toll takers. Uh, this yeah. is the first time she's been honored with uh, a man of your distinction. Well, it's, it's not hard to do, man. Uh, she's uh, absolute dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, put. Well, well, put, well put, my brother. Boy, he's in a sweet mood today. <laughs> Let's put it this way, Riley. Her breasts are out of this world. Oh, man. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they ain't from this earth. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, hello. Riley, you said something else. Right. Hello, Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. What you said. Yeah, dig it. Right. right. Boy, Riley, when you're in this kind of mood, you're kind of fun. Yeah, a woman could get attracted to you. I'm really, I'm really beautiful, beautiful. Fun guy. You are a fun guy. Suffer facing to a fault. <laughs> the great Riley, everyone. All right. And make sure you reach him on thecomingoftan.com the com. and 1 800 no. Uh, no, 609. 609. Now you can get in touch with Riley himself. All right. Definitely. I'll be there the next couple of days. Uh, I, but I advise you, do not follow me back to the Badlands in Oklahoma. I want to be alone. You will, he's going to go off to Oklahoma <laughs> to be with the aliens. But uh, remember, you're going to want to talk with him because before long, you'll end up in a desert, probably uh, killing Sharon Tate. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. no, you are a peaceful man, right? Yeah, oh, yes. well, most definitely. Most definitely, yeah. yes. Right. The great Riley, who has really uh, been abducted by aliens. <laughs> and I believe him. I believe him. Thanks, Al. Peace. Uh, yeah, peace, man. Peace, man. Shalom. Shalom. Uh, Whatever. Guys, take care. Right. Take care, Riley. So long, Slevin. Slevin's been working out a little bit. Bye-bye, Riley. Yeah, Bye, Riley. He works at Slevin. Riley. I don't know about the aliens, but stay away from Slevin. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Any of those aliens look like Gary? No. Yeah. Yes. Uh, these guys, man, if y'all can get their names eventually, I'll get their symbols up to them. Nah, don't waste time. your time. They're not going anywhere. We don't want to go with them anyway, We don't want right? to go with them. I don't want them up in space with me. <laughs> Riley's kind of like the hale thing, because yeah. once you get the symbol, you can start flying. Right, yeah. Yeah, right. There you go. I think Slevin uh, works at Slevin 11. <laughs> That's where he got his name. <laughs> I'm 
really hankering to say hello to the people in Oklahoma. Why you Oklahoma? Know. Well, that's where I'm from. Oh, really? Right. I want to say hello to the, uh, uh, the to the Combs, the Goosebys, DOC, uh, and the Homies, Phyllis, uh, the Neils, and all the nice people around Spencer, Oklahoma. Uh, RJ, Robert Jr., uh, Clayface, all you guys. Uh, we just did New York, but as far as Oklahoma is concerned, I'll be back. Okay. All right, <laughs> All right Riley. So hey, so you got to come up here. So now, what's going to happen next? What is your next big move here? Uh, uh, well, of course, we are still marketing the book, The Coming of Ten. It's a book that everyone must read. Uh, we are are so con we are so uh, we are. If you buy the book and it does not live up to your expectations or what have you, return the book and we'll return your money. Let's wear and tear. We've not yet received a book back, but you must get the coming of ten. You know, I cannot stress this enough. Right. Because if we don't get advertised at all, then how are we going to sell the wares? And uh, the world will be going lacking. A true masterpiece. Uh, you can also get the uh, music uh, to the future projected soundtrack right. of the upcoming movie, The Coming of Ten. What's with the limp, Riley? Oh, uh, did uh, were you not aware of the fact that I had a gimp leg? No, I didn't notice that last time. Oh, you didn't. No. Oh no, that's right, you did. You had his cane last time, though. I had a cane last time. Where's this your time, cane today? Well, this time I'm without the cane, simply because I'm walking better, and the cane doesn't like to be uh, shown facetiously. What do you mean facetiously? Sometimes you use big words that I don't understand. Well, if you can walk, you can walk, and if you can't, you can't. Then you need me if you don't. You know. Oh, okay. So, uh, so you figure you can walk now without it? I can walk, uh, yeah. Why do you have a cane. problem with your leg? Uh, well, generally, when you break a leg... Okay, you broke it. Uh, it's, you tend to have a problem right. with it. Oh, I didn't know you broke it. Uh, and you are the super genius who runs this, huh? Jeez. So my other question was, a lot of these, uh, you tend to use a lot of these big words. You know, when you can, Is that an everyday thing, or you just do that on the show to sort of... Well, I am that I am. I'm Riley Martin. Uh, the fact that I have uh, gained some small mastery of the English language uh, is in no... Uh, uh, the reason uh, that I've gained the mastery of the language, I suppose, is because I uh, listen uh, when things are said and I try and uh, remember the salient points of what I read. Uh, you might accomplish the same thing yourself, uh, should you learn to read. Uh, as soon as I learn to le read, I'll figure that out. <laughs> but I mean, do you like pick out one big word for the day that you can use all day, or is it like, uh, like word for the day type of thing? Uh, the word for today is face, which uh, if you would be so kind as to get out of my face. The word for the day is face. Would you be oh, so kind? So angry no, no, that. really. I don't mean, yeah, my goodness. You know, you're the type so of a guy. You would mess up the Pope's wet dream. You know that? But you're a marvelous guy. I love you. I don't think you understand? The word for today is out of face uh, with camera. Camera up took us shortly. Out of face. That's the word for today. Love you, man.